Good morning. It is Thursday, the 9th of April 2020. Thank you for joining us today. In the headlines, State of Exception Act adopted by Parliament, four persons declared cured from COVID-19, students make use of online studying, and Surinamese abroad face the same restrictions. With the adoption of the COVID-19 State of Exception Act, the government is provided with tools to deal with the medical and economic effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. As chairman of the Committee of Rapporteurs, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Melvin Bofa, explained that so far the situation has remained manageable, but more must be done to win the battle against COVID-19. Yesterday, this law was adopted in the National Assembly with 28 votes in favor and 8 against after a marathon session that started on Tuesday. To cope with the consequences of COVID-19, just over $26 million US dollar will be made available by the government. On the other hand, an emergency fund of 500 million Surinamese dollars will be set up to absorb the economic effects on society. After the adoption of the act, it was once again clarified by the Minister of Finance, Gilmore Hoofdraad. The law that will come into force after promulgation does not limit the freedom of the press. This was noted by Vice President Ashwin Adin in response to the opposition. They believe that with the adoption of this law, the freedom of expression is limited. The law also provides the possibility to take measures against the spreading of incorrect information around COVID-19. The Civil State Exception Act needs to be promulgated by the President Desiree Bautasha, and after that, it will come into effect. The state of exception lasts three months. Four of the ten people tested positive for COVID-19 were declared cured. They underwent an exit screening and are now tested negative for COVID-19. Among them is the French ambassador for Suriname, Antoine Joly, who after the infection has been treated in neighboring French Guyana and is already back in Paramaribo. The director of health, Cleopatra Yesrun, also indicated that no new COVID-19 infected cases have been added. She reported this yesterday during the press conference. Despite the Easter holidays, students are still busy with their schoolwork. Many schools are already anticipating the longer closing period of the educational institutions as a result of the COVID-19 crisis. That's why educators grab to e-facilities to teach the lessons to their children. This often happens via social media or via the distribution of copies so that the students do not fall behind on the subject. One of the schools is the NKC Institute, which focuses on adaptive education. Nancy Natuni, director of this institution, indicated that the students are kept busy in a very creative way. The NKC Institute also posts exercises on social media, especially on Facebook. The exercises are intended for all levels of the primary education. In this way, also the children of other educational institutions are given the opportunity to practice at home. In addition to the educational institutions, some tutors are also active online. The foundation Lazy Coney is an organization that wants to promote reading among young people. They regularly send assignments so that young people, despite being at home, stay focused on their schoolwork. And at last, the measures taken to combat the spread of the COVID-19 have consequences worldwide. Many people have to stay inside and others cannot fly back home. Despite everything, Surinamese abroad are trying to make the best out of the situation and strictly follow the rules. They share their experiences with the SDVS via social media. Hence, they say not everyone follows the rules. Just as in Suriname, the necessary measures are also taken in China, Italy and the Netherlands. The Surinamese in those countries agree that you are responsible for your own safety and that of others. That is all for the local news for today. Head back on Tuesday for a new edition. Have a great Easter weekend. Bye-bye.